A key vote by the FCC will likely change the way you use your favorite websites. The FCC just repealed net neutrality, a rule started during the Obama years. Net neutrality forced internet providers to, to treat all websites the same, preventing them from charging sites to make them load faster on your device. As CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli shows us, some businesses, small ones, worry they will be squeezed out by the big guys. If you don't have a level playing field on the internet to reach your customers, it's just not fair. Here's a snapshot of how the wedding photography firm George Street grew to employ 50 people with clients nationwide. We had videos, we had photos, we had, we had things all in different uh, data centers across the United States. That need gave rise to Dan Creviston's next company, Cloud Ranger, which now helps 250 companies store and back up massive files in the cloud, and providing fast internet access was key. It's very scary. Creviston and his partners are concerned that with a non-neutral internet, clients might not be able to access their services easily. At any point, a customer could be charged more to go to my website as opposed to one of my competitors' websites. In a three to two vote, the FCC decided to repeal net neutrality. Supporters believe that will allow internet service providers to expand. The sky isn't falling, consumers will remain protected, and the internet will flourish. Critics fear the vote allows providers to create different speeds of service on the internet with faster lanes for companies willing to pay, making it harder for smaller companies to compete. The little guys are always the ones that, you know, feel the most when these things happen. Entrepreneur Carlos Rosenwald created Story Street Labs as a place for writers to share short narratives. Even with 15,000 registered authors, he worries about the ability to grow if the internet becomes an expensive place to do business. We've been an economy that has always prodded itself in supporting entrepreneurs and supporting startups, and this could be a threat for a lot of us. There is also concern that internet providers may grant faster streaming speeds to partners like an HBO and charge competitors, let's say Netflix, for the same level of service. But for the moment, it's unclear how this might impact users like you and me who just want to check email or watch the next episode of Stranger Things, even though I still feel like I'm in the upside down right now. <laughs> That's right. I'm sure a lot of people do, too, with this right. net neutrality. Yeah, and it's really, it remains to be seen how it's going to impact uh, most of us, but uh, some changes will undoubtedly come. And uh, a lot of the small businesses feel like they're being uh, they're being squeezed here, don't they? Well, they do because they started operating in an environment where there weren't any limits, so to speak, and now there could be. Yeah. All right, thanks. thanks.